Hey guys, Bill back at you again with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at all three of my Sour Skunk OG Kush Cross Autos. Okay guys, so uh, let's take a look behind me here at the two that I have in my bigger tent and see how they're making out. Okay, here they are guys. Uh, we have the two tallest ones in the big tent. Let's take a closer look. Okay, this one here. This one uh, is the one that we did a little bit of LSD on and some major defoliation, and she's looking great. Uh, she was also lollipopped down at the bottom, and she is probably from the floor, I would say about four feet tall, uh, stacking up really well. I think they're three and a half to four weeks into flower and stacking very nice. So we're going to have some really nice, I mean, these, these colas go quite a ways down. Uh, so we're going to have, we're going to have a few really nice tall colas on this girl. So, all right. And then as a comparison, which I asked in the last video of these guys, whether you wanted me to clean this one up or leave it as a comparison grow, the majority, the vast majority said to leave it as a comparison grow. So that's what I did. Uh, you can tell she's not lollipop, she's not cleaned out, and this is how she's growing. Still pretty decent. Still pretty decent. We have the one main cola here. Uh, that's going to be a nice, nice long cola. And then some of these side ones are still going to be pretty decent. Um, if we look down into this, it's really hard to see down to the bottom of this. Um, because we haven't taken anything out compared to the the one beside her which you can see right down to the bottom of the uh, you can see the pot this one you can't so um, although I've, I've pretty much left her I've only taken a few off a few leaves that I've kind of had to take off um, it is killing me not to get in here so today actually right after this video I am going to reach in here and I am going to clean her out a little bit uh, I just can't handle it. As much as I want to leave her the full time, I know I can get more growth down here by just pulling out. I'm, I'm not going to go crazy on it, but I am going to take out a little bit of this, a uh, little bit of growth in here. So um, I apologize to anybody that wanted me to leave it totally alone. I'm not going to do much, but I, I do have to. It's just killing me not to get in there and and defoliate a little bit um, being close to four weeks into flower I can't take off too much anyway at this point so I will be very selective in what I do take out uh, compared to the other ones where I just kind of get in there and for the most part I just kind of get in there and strip half of it out so uh, with this one I am gonna take out just just a few just the ones that I really think need to come out just to, to benefit the the final harvest so anyway we'll take a look at both of them from back here again not bad at all so and these are growing I have right now um, I still haven't cleaned that fan out back there it's kind of embarrassing but I will get around to that uh, I've been pretty busy lately so uh, I do have a cob on either side they both pull 200 watts from the wall um, and I have a 315 CMH right in the center so so all together you're looking at about just over 700 watts for these two plants so about 350 watts a piece so they're doing doing quite well quite happy with that already so now we'll just jump over to the other tent and see how Shorty's doing okay guys and here's Shorty over in her own tent uh, she's in a 3x3, three three, and she's filling it out nicely. She's pretty much 2 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet. Really super awesome stacking on this girl, though. She is full. Like, she is literally full of bud. Um, if you open this up anywhere, I mean, it's just... The bud is just stacked up everywhere. Um really sticky too actually 
should have worn my gloves, but uh, yeah, Tricone production is up probably double the other plants in the other tent. Uh, another thing with this girl too, I, I noticed the other day, is just how thick these stems are. I mean, not so much thick. I mean, that's not a very thick stem, but strong. Like, if I move this stem here, I mean, the whole plant moves. Like, it's it's so solid. And also, uh, if we look down, say we'll just follow this one here, see if we can follow that all the way down. It's, let's see, it goes farther down there. Um, these are going to be some foot-long colas here, guys, off of this two-foot plant. And there's a lot of them. So, uh, going to be great yield. I wouldn't be surprised to get as much if not more off of this girl than either one of the other two taller ones in the in the bigger tent and the thing that's impressive about this to me is it's doing all that under one led that is only pulling 150 watts from the wall so it's getting less than half the power of either of the other two which are getting about 350 watts each and the stacking is better. The uh, trichome production is better. Just the strength of the stems is much better. It's just a really super awesome plant. So, I mean, the other ones are really nice too, but I'm spending twice as much on my power bill to grow them. So, uh, if I can get as much off of this one under 150 watts compared to the other two, which are under 350 watts, then... I think it's a pretty easy choice which one will win. Not that this is a win or lose type thing, but uh, uh, really enjoying this review. Okay guys, so that's a look at all three of the uh, Sour Skunk OG Kush Cross Autos. All three are doing really well. I uh, got some great news too. Uh, Myers Hydro uh, sent me an email this morning. They're continuing their Black Friday sale all the way up to uh, Cyber Monday. So uh, I'll put a link down below if you guys want to check that out, I know a lot of you have already purchased them, um, and that's great. Uh, make sure you use my code because it will stack with the sales that they already have ongoing. So you'll save even more with the code. So uh, I think theirs is like 15% off everything, and then you can use my code to get more than that. So uh, that's great too. Uh, appreciate them doing that for us. And uh, also, uh, my other sponsor, I love growing marijuana.com. I'll leave their uh, link down below too. Uh, they're also having uh, Cyber Monday sales, uh, more 10 by 10 seeds, get 10 free. Um, lots of great deals there. They have a little bit of everything, whether you grow photos, whether you grow autos, whether you want sativas or indicas or, or whatever you need, they got it. Uh, high CBDs. Um, practically anything so uh, you can give those check those guys out too um, you can also check out my boys uh, at uh, Frost Bros Genetics uh, I'm gonna put a link to their Instagram down below um, that's who I got these seeds from for here uh, the Sour Skunk OG Kush Cross Autos uh, I don't think they're ready to sell yet um, but you can jump on their Instagram follow them on there um, you can ask them and I'm sure they'll let you know what's up. So that'll be it for this one, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing, guys.